In 1998, I was an 8 year old who owned a Nintendo 64. But all that was about to change after going over a friend's house and playing a game I've never played before. Tekken 3. At the time, Mortal Kombat 4 had recently come out, and I was playing a lot of it. But Tekken was a totally different fighting game, focusing more on martial arts instead of fatalities. And for me, that was more interesting. My family did not have internet, so the only way I could find out about new games was magazines and going over friends' houses to see what they had. In the 90s, games weren't as multi-platformed as they are today, and there were way more exclusives for consoles. I was happy with Mario, Zelda, Banjo-Kazooie, and Star Fox, but PlayStation had Tekken, and I begged my parents that Christmas to buy me it. Tekken has some of the craziest boss battles. I mean, for fuck's sake, I'm fighting a hell beast created by Satan himself. Well, actually, I think he was made in a lab, but still, it's so cool we get to fight something like this. I love Tekken 3. I spent hours mastering the combos and playing my friends in highly competitive matches. I think what really got me into it was the characters. There were so many to choose from, and all of them were unique. Dinosaurs, robots, cops, criminals, and kung fu masters, Tekken had it all. My favorite character was Harong. But for each character, I knew their special moves and attacks, like Law's backflip move. I really enjoyed the ending cutscenes after completing arcade mode. I felt it added a lot to the plot and making the completion of the Tekken tournament more rewarding. Some of them were just insane, like this one. I love these cutscenes so much that I would rent the Tekken anime movies from Blockbuster. Unlike previous Tekken installments, Tekken 3 added additional modes, specifically Tekken Force, a side-scrolling beat-em-up game, which pitted the player in various stages against enemies in a variety of environments. If the player succeeds in beating the minigame four times, Dr. Viskanovich would be a playable character. I nearly lost my mind doing this, but unlocking characters was half the fun in this game, and there was a lot of them to unlock. Another mode in this game was Tekken Ball. Similar to Beach Volleyball, it was a fun minigame, but it was nowhere near as fun as Tekken Force. Tekken 3 added emphasis on the third access, allowing all characters to sidestep in or out of the background by lightly pressing the D-pad. Another big change in movement was that jumping was toned down a lot, no longer allowing fighters to jump to extreme heights. Other than that, the improved engine allowed for quick recoveries from knockdowns and more escapes from tackles and stuns. After 20 years, Tekken 3 still holds up as a great arcade fighter, and I'm happy to see new games in the series come out. 2012's Tekken Tag Tournament 2 was fantastic, and the upcoming Tekken 7 looks straight up amazing. But I'll never forget the game that made me love the series, and that's why I love Tekken 3. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out our other videos too while you're at it. And see you next time on Guillotine Gaming.